hello everyone uh, joining us this evening or this afternoon in Australia. Okay, my the product I'm going to talk about is Plasma Flow, which is pretty cool. I think I uh, have a particularly great relationship with all the several products. They're certainly all in my life and uh, have a particular affinity and love of using the, the Plasma Flow product for, for circulation support. So one of the really kind of key things to understand about our microcirculation is that it's like really, 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 really small. Like it's micro small. You know, when you take a, a drop of blood and look at it under a, a Hemaview blood microscope, there are just thousands of red blood cells in that drop of blood. And so when we come to looking at our microcirculation, and I'll just my cursor will come along here, we're looking at the this area between the capillaries and the venules. So the capillaries are part of all the blood flow going out to our body. And then as a transfer happens, uh, and you'll see in the notes here, these transfers are like oxygen uh, leaving the red blood cells and then coming into the venules, collecting the carbon dioxide, the same with nutrients and the waste. These blood vessels are tiny. They are the size of one red blood cell. And you might know that red blood cells are concave. And they're actually like that so that they can squeeze over. And when they're coming through the microcirculation, we have this one red blood cell squeezed over. We have the blood vessel walls here. And this, this is the point where our body at a micro level breathes. We breathe at a macro level, breathe in the oxygen, breathe out the carbon dioxide, and then we're breathing again within the circulation. And that red blood cell is right there. And here are all the cells of the body. We're right down at the cellular level. And you'll see on the slide there, it says no cell in the body is further than two cells from a capillary. So if we're looking where the cursor is in here, we can see the little red blood cells and then the cells are here. So those are the cells that are releasing compounds. And we're talking about stem cells. They're releasing compounds saying, hey, I'm a cell and I'm damaged. I need I need to attract stem cells to become more types of cells like me because I'm out of here or uh, the cell lines are coming to the end of their ability to sort of replicate and they release the compounds as well. And so this is the point. Uh, I get a bit nerdy excited about this. Um, this is the point where you, our stem cells migrate from the blood vessels. So we know that with the stem enhanced product, uh, that when we take two capsules within 45 minutes, we have a 25% increase in stem cell migration. So they're going into the blood vessels, but they're not just kind of randomly moving out. They're moving out at this in intersection point between the capillary and the venules. And when you think about the capillaries bringing the blood flow out to the body, it's, it's got a push behind it because all the outgoing blood flow has musculature on it and it has a push. Whereas the venules, the blood, once it's uh, gone through to the blue point, is just a return mechanism uh, that, that doesn't have any push on it. So as the, the blood comes through that microcirculation into the venules, there's a, a pooling effect. So a bit like how a river might come into a gulf of water, there's a pooling effect. And it's just, it slows everything down enough so that the stem cell can uh, interface with the chemistry uh, that those cells are releasing. And it's like, oh, this is where I need to be. It hooks onto the blood vessel wall and then it migrates through and comes into these cells. And then those cells over the next so many hours communicate with the stem cell and it's like oh I need to become a oh, muscle cell uh, this type of brain cell this type of nerve cell etc and that is where it's all happening so it's really important that our microcirculation is open and uh, and it yeah it's absolutely essential to the health of our body you know when people kind of go well they say to me oh look gosh you look really healthy Linda and now I've got a glow in my skin. And partly why my skin is glowing is because my microcirculation is open out to the edge of my skin. But most important, because I support my body with the resources of Cyril, with microcirculation support, 
that uh, microcirculation support is going all the way to the top of my brain, it's coming out all to the periphery of my hands and my feet. And that's something, particularly uh, for those of you who've met me, I'm six foot tall, so I reckon my blood's got to get a lot further. <laughs> so we want to make sure everything's getting supported. And so when the first uh, circulation enhancer came out to work in with the stem cell enhancing products. I was doing uh, a lot of work as a naturopath and doing uh, blood work with people. And we were all, you're always looking for this fibrin. So you can see in the red blood cells in the picture here, there's, they're kind of all caught up uh, and that's fibrin. And fibrin is one of the main things that inhibit our microcirculation. So it reduces the optimal flow of our blood and uh yeah and it can really kind of clog things up and it's a one of the main reasons why people will get cold hands feet nose and ears because the circulation can't flow because you remember i said that those little micro uh, vessels are only one red blood cell thick and we get these fibrin uh, clusters that can be 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 red blood cells thick. So, you know, the plasma and things can kind of move through. It's not like a blood clot, but it's a micro form of this gunking up happening. And it generally happens, like when you break it down, because of uh, oxidants and inf inflammation in the blood. It's like everything comes down to inflammation. And when we're talking about the circulation, the inflammatory compounds and the oxidant compounds, because you, you've got to remember we talk about inflammation and that, but it's actually little, little chemical messenger cells. And they actually sort of tap on these fibrinogen compounds that are uh, dissolved in the blood and they pull out little bits of it and it clusters up. So the great thing about plasma flow is that alongside these uh, like herbals and nutraceuticals that are mentioned in the ingredients there it also has uh, a strong amount of enzymes and the enzymes are there to break down this fibrin okay and then the other products are in there the other ingredients are in there to work as antioxidants and anti-inflammatories within the within the blood flow to prevent that fibrin coming out and we have great things like ginkgo and goku go to cola, which have a lot of research around actually strengthening the blood vessels. So I found for myself that this is it's like four products in one and uh, and work, I mean, I just find it really, really effective. So you'll probably know that uh, on the bottle, it says to take two capsules daily, 30 minutes before you eat or two hours after you eat a meal. And that's because those enzymes can get used up a bit in the digestion of your food. It has actually been studied. And if you do, let's say, uh, take your capsules with your breakfast, uh, they estimate that the efficacy of the product just drops off about 12%. And that's just some of the enzymes getting used up in the digestion of your food. The rest of it's all going through into the blood flow. And the scientists developed this product really work hand in hand with stem enhance and it's designed for an adult to take two capsules at a time so that when you take the two capsules you're having that amount of resources going out into your circulation to clear the way and uh, it's pretty cool they reckon that uh, once you ingest the product it's clearing the way in your microcirculation within about 45 minutes which is the same time as it generally takes for the peak amount of stem cells to start being released when you take your stem enhance. So I know there's lots of us on here that when we get up in the morning, first thing we do is we take our stem enhance with a couple of plasma flow, potter around uh, for 30 minutes and then and then have our breakfast. So the other uh, thing that I've often asked about is the amount to take and what I've observed over the years. And what I've observed is that really most people do just fine on two capsules a day. and uh, but if somebody has like a lot of circulation issues and they'll generally be moaning about their circulation, they'll, they'll be cold. Uh, if it's in the autumn, you know, sometimes people start really fretting about winter because they've got to deal with the extra coldness in their extremity. They may even look a bit blue. And if somebody 
uh, wanted to really invest more in their circulation support. Uh, sometimes I, I'll use two capsules twice a day, but most of us are all on just two capsules a day. Uh, I think, think it's a great product for, for using with people. And, and I get asked a lot, you know, what do I use when? And we all know that I kind of love getting people started on STEM Enhance and the Collagen Active because they're just such great packs for, for change, etc. When I start including plasma flow in the beginning is when, you know, you're, you're hearing people kind of complaining about their cold hands and feet and they're invested in sort of spending money on those on this product as a resource and they so that's what I do in the beginning and then often as people become like they just fall in love with with their stem and hearts and the collagen active they might ask about the plasma flow or I might kind of go you know how you're just rocking on the stem and hearts and collagen active uh it is quite likely if you add some plasma flow and you're going to actually increase your results and you're also going to be supporting another very important part of your your body and the, this flow of energy that comes with our blood flow so that's that's sort of how I look at it in people's lives and I've had lots of uh people who've yeah perhaps you know just been taking a good amount of stem enhance etc and then they add in plasma flow and they can feel feel that extra product coming in and opening things up. One thing I would say as a heads up is when people, I pick, you know, it's great if people would take this product line as a preventative, but if, if people are going, gosh, I'm noticing all these things, but I really took the product for a joint, let's say their hands or their knee or down in their feet, and lots of other things are just improving as the resources get around their body, but it's like it's not getting into an area, then recommend that that person add in some circulation support because the area can get quite chronically inflamed and then increase, uh, well, affect the circulation in that area. So uh, the scientist, that one of the scientists that works on the product had this great saying that... Um, when you take stem enhance, like you've got a train going through your body, like which is your blood vessels. And when you take stem enhance, you put all stem enhance on the train. And then you want to make sure as the train goes through the body, the doors open. And if you want to invest insurance that the doors are opening in the right place, that's what plasma flow does. Fantastic. That is brilliant. Thank you so, mm. so much, Linda. Um, really, really good to hear. I love that.